Well, first of all, um, the, the central planning economy is of a different political party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but of course, uh, we um, make forecasts. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of uh, organizations making forecasts. And um, there, there will be a de demand for um, at least 200,000 new homes um, in the, the next decade. Um, uh, and uh, a large part of it will, will be owner-occupied, um, but also substantial part, very substantial, the free rental uh, housing sector. And it will be concentrated in the cities. So the tendencies are very clear. I think from our perspective, we're, we're first and foremost an investor and a manager of property. So what form that investment takes, I think, is an open question. To date, we've been able to buy existing homes and, and hopefully, at least to date, been fairly successful at that. We'd like to continue doing that. That's the core of our business. If we have to do something different to continue to grow our business, I think we'll do that. The, the flip side of that, and I think the question that, that, that you also mentioned was, was well, what, where does our money go? How are we supporting this need for housing? And I think there's two ways. Number one, it's not just building new homes. The, the money that we invest, the money we pay to housing corporations, the money we pay to banks, then gets reinvested in the sector. And we view that as just as important as what we could build is, is what they could build, supporting them and continuing to develop the social housing sector, for instance, continuing to develop free rental housing.